Hi, I'm Symphony News, and today we're taking a look at Gyard Mirror of the Wilds in Historic Brawl. I tried a couple things with Gyards. The thing that ended up feeling good to me was actually an, like running him with an enchantments sub theme because there's a lot of overlaps in terms of like what enchantress decks want to do with what Gyard wants to do. They produce very strong um, tokens that uh, Gyard can copy for value, or we can spit out tokens with uh, like Seance and then use Gyard to copy the Seance tokens, and that gives us, or like Fabled. Fabled also copies stuff and gets usable creature tokens for Gyard that are a little bit more interesting than just playing a more kind of linear token strategy. Uh, to back that stuff up, we have a, a, a pile of like generic draw cards in the Great Henge, uh, Tribute to the World Tree, etc, etc. We have some of the Enchantress draw cards like Satessan Champion and Sithis. We have a bunch of removal in the form of like Breed in the Garden, uh, Swords to Plowshares, Path to Exile, a Journey to Nowhere, Ossification, like a bunch of enchantment removal as well, a bunch of acceleration on one in terms of mana dorks as well as stuff on two with Mindstone and Arcane Signet and stuff. We have Molten Duplication in this deck to produce a copy of a creature that we can then copy with Guard and stuff. We have Cryptolith, right? So that if you're making tokens with haste, you can use that mana to keep kind of storming off with Guard, and that's nice. Uh, we have Three Blind Mice for just creating more copies of tokens. Uh, that's a lot of the deck, Sandstorm Salvager, just because it's two bodies, spits out a golem that we can copy, and can also put 1-1 counters on all of our stuff. We have some tutoring as well in, like, Huntsman's Redemptions and uh, Analyze the Pollen, and we use that tutoring to just kind of make the deck more consistent, a little bit more playable. We have a Disenchant in Night of Autumn. We also have some treasure generation in, like, The Fable, as well as Big Score, Pirate's Pillage, Unexpected Windfall, and uh, Tireless Provisioner. These cards give us treasure tokens that we can copy to, uh, or eat food in the case of uh, Provisioner, that we can copy to accelerate our game plan or stay in the game if we're under pressure by copying the food tokens. Um, and yeah, Case of the Locked Hothouse in this deck as well because of our kind of split creature enchantment deck. Uh, this is just a way to play a lot of cards in a turn. Nylea to make our creatures cheaper. Oracle of Moldaya, just for a little bit more acceleration. Mirror March for Goofy Top End, as well as Nexus of Becoming, because Nexus makes tokens of creatures and then we can copy those with Guard, and that's neat. Bunch of, like, fetch lands, dual lands, etc. in the mana base. Kamiko channel lands as well. And yeah, that is more or less the deck. If you like the deck deck and like the video, like, subscribe, etc. Helps the channel a lot. Consider supporting on Patreon or following on Twitch or whatever if you want to support the channel even more. All that rambling out of the way, let's get on to some actual gameplay. <laughs> Do the farmland first, because that might be a tap land with how our mana is working out, but no, we're okay. Do the Gallic Readers and then the Tireless Provisioner. Hmm. Um, yeah, pay two life, do this. Make a treasure token, no attacks. We can Nylea. We can also, like, Pirates Pillage the Commercial District away. Although hitting land drops is helpful. Giada stuff is happening, which is not... Great! Mm -hmm. Um... Do this, make a treasure token. I don't hate playing a guard here, actually. Just because copying treasure tokens is, I think, maybe more productive for us here than uh, doing other stuff. Like, we can do this, and... Uh, sorry, we want to copy things before we do more stuff. Gyard things, woo! Then we get Nylea down, and that gives us cheap dog. 
Um, which gives us another Gallic Reader's trigger. Gain some life, I don't know. Bible. Uh, sure. Hmm. <laughs> Steel Seraph does a life link. Yeah, no, my my distaste for Giada has shifted slightly in in recent times, just in the sense that uh it's gone from like trauma from standard to just more generic. It would be nice to play against other commanders. There are hundreds and thousands or whatever of commanders on Arena, and, you know, getting, getting another one sometimes would be cool. But people like life gain, and that's okay. I say very enthusiastically. Marsh flats. Hmm. Uh, treasure, filter, or like grab a thing, uh, make another treasure, do a Sithis, gain some life, tap to make a treasure? Tap to make treasures with all our things that can't punch through the angel, or like... Yeah, a bunch of our board, really. Um... Let's do the bobble ability, maybe. That'll make more treasure, too, which is something. And shuffle the top card of our library. Down to the final basic. Um... All right, sorry, Nylee is just top card. I thought she had dig for some reason. Okay. Giant pile of treasure, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, we either, like, do some guard combo nonsense this turn... Um, or we just die to Angel Beatdown. And, you know, that's a thing. Uh, Steel Seraph. Come on, Steel Seraph. We take 12. I guess if that's where we're at, I should probably be Nylea in just to put the Swords to Plowshares in the graveyard. Mm. We're using, or we would be using Treasure Mana to do that, which is not ideal. Or I think we just. We chill for a second, anyway. Um, this is not the card we need. Graveyard. Land off the top. Can make some food. Hmm. Um. Really wish we had a way to draw cards here. Shoot the Sarah Angel. Or, oh, that's fine. Um, tap more food. Tap more food. Yum 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 yum. Uh, yum 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 yum. Uh, yum 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 yum. Yeah, no. Listen, sometimes you just want to take game actions, because you can. 
or this keeps us in the game in a semi-meaningful way. Uh, make a giant pile of food, like, don't immediately die. Next turn we get to Fable of the Mirror Breaker, which is an enchantment that will trigger Sithis. And will that will maybe get us into this game in a more meaningful way? Because, yeah, if they're just replaying Sarah Angel, it's kind of fine. Mm-hmm. Bing, bing, bong. Universal automaton. Meton, meton. Land off the top. Make a treasure token, so we have a fresh treasure token for Guide. Well, Mirror March is something. Um... Boy, howdy. Gain some life? Question mark. Uh, let's Mirror March, I guess, because we do have... Stuff we can do, sort of. Um... Also, we can make more of those little goblins, huh? I'm just trying to think. We have... The one one counter on target creature you control, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. Shoot the giant angel, because that's helpful for not dying. That gives them... 8, 9, 10-ish power and stuff. Uh, 1-1 one, one counter on Gallic Readers. Um, make some more little shaman tokens, as you do. Um, do this, do this. Burn some more food here. Uh, trundle on in for six. I assume they don't block. And yeah, we can s throw some of these tokens under the Universal Automaton. Like, maybe we want to keep Nylea back. My thought with the attack there is just that they give the Automaton flying with Steel Seraph, and that's a thing. Big Angel is big. Um, bing bong, we go to eight. This happens. My turn. Fable happens. Uh, submit zero. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Jetmere's garden off the top. Fresh treasure token for Gyred combo garbage. Um, then we want to do that. We can take out the non-token. Oh, uh, get lucky with the mirror march. Maybe. Um, take out Giada. Gain some life. Hey, which is to say any, any copies. Because, yeah, we can take out the Universal Automaton, too. Um. Hmm. Get that Elvish Mystic off the top, I guess. Land on top. Get another treasure token. Uh. Fetch? Maybe I'm supposed to keep the Guardian Project up, I don't know. Do a surveil land and use that to filter for things. Like food token. Um, I think I like keeping that up. Gal Greeters does some things. No copies. Oh no. Um, yeah, we can also eat the dog or the seraph. I guess eating the seraph is the most relevant thing. Or like that's what we're actively interested in doing, and then 
the rest of this is kind of whatever. Make some more treasure tokens. Um, rain, no work. Good clap, 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 clap. Five. Uh, so we want like another food token. And yeah, attacking here is really not very productive for us. Uh, another treasure, another food, something like that. Uh, sacrifice food. Do, 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 do. Listen, we're staying alive. Ha, 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 ha. Staying alive. Uh, sorry, that is... Route 15? Uh, this is okay. I don't think we... Is this each end step? Yeah, we don't want to attack here then. Or actively don't. Because that would give them another Valkyrie Harbinger trigger. Which would not be great. We can lassoed, lassoed, lassoed by the law. The Valkyrie Harbinger. Stem the bleeding a bit that way. Honestly, the Gyred Tireless Provisioner kind of synergy, soft combo, whatever, is doing a much better job keeping us alive than I would have expected. Um, so that's neat. They have a disenchant. The enchantress's presence is the correct thing to hit if they have a disenchant. The mirror march is like sure, okay. The mirror march is flashier, certainly. But doesn't do stuff. 17, we're still fine. Or like we take a billion damage, but we're not dead to that swing. Angel happens. Uh, seance. Ooh. Gain some life. Uh, draw two cards. Oh, Journey to Nowhere is actually very helpful here, probably. Uh, eat the Valkyrie Harbinger. Another Gallic Reader's proc. Hey! Uh, yeah, I'll take that. We're able to, uh, yeah, they have perfect knowledge of our hand, so they can see that, like, take out the Valkyrie Harbinger, take out another 7-7 seven, seven or whatever, play out Seance, get, draw two more cards, do, get some land somewhere in there, repeat the guard stuff, keep stabilizing, etc, etc. Like, we have a whole engine online, whereas they just have some angles. And, you know, uh, they see the writing on the wall. I'll take it. A good games to the opponent. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm fine scooping to that. Uh, they don't show us a combo or whatever, but with the prime time and uh, Titan of Industry and stuff, it's like, yep, you successfully ramped into top end. Ah, uh, this hand is okay. Elvish visionary into fable into whatever. Um, wooded foothills for a trial. Do that. Opponent plays a bristly bill. Well, sorry, I check a thing. Ah, do the cliff top ridge and the visionary. Draw a card, more lands, which is okay, honestly, with our hand and us, like, needing to hit, uh, four, five, six mana. Um, Gwena, Eyes of Gaia for Bristly Bill. No, uh, no blocks. I wonder if we want to Enchantress's presence here. Like, we can tutor for that with the Moon Blessed Cleric. Which is maybe okay. We can fable and that is useful. 
Hmm. I don't know, I'm kind of more into the Fable, I think. Just because the Moon Blessed Cleric is kind of slow. Whereas, like, Treasure, Make a Treasure, Buried in the Garden, Windfall, etc., etc., is more interesting to me. Um, that sure is a way to sequence that turn. Uh, play out the lands, then do the... Or, sorry, the beginning of the upkeep. Never mind, I'm bullying them for no reason. Um, I'm gonna throw this under Bill. Bill, 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 Bill. Um, discard the Cleric and the Pollen? Another Pirate's Pillagey thing. Um, boy, howdy. Awkward turn is awkward. Uh, pay to life. Attack them. I guess we do just take out Bill, huh? Because, yeah, Bill getting more counters and stuff is not ideal for us living. Uh, seems a no bueno. They replay Bill. Get another counter on Bill. Hmm. Gwenna trundles on in. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. I kind of want to do the Nexus of Becoming, just because it's relatively high value and stuff. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know. It'll probably be okay. We don't immediately have stuff that we convert to, uh, into creatures in hand, but... Oh yeah, maybe we draw it. We get a 3-3 Satessan Champion, which is kind of nice. Are we interested in just getting treasure here? I think so. We, like, maybe don't want to block with stuff, so... Uh, no block. Or no attacks, actually. In particular, I do kind of like the idea of copy the Satessan Champion token with the reflection, play out tribute to the World Tree, draw some cards, um, maybe play out Gyre to copy the uh, secondary token of the champ. The lines in this deck are real weird. Um. Bill, 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 Bill. Attack? They probably should attack here. Oh, they do not attack here. Technically, we can multi block Bill, but we lose a lot of pressure doing that, so. Uh, um, Yeah, token copy of the Satassin Champion. We use that to. or we then cast a tribute. Which will draw us two cards. I think we want Gyard here, maybe? Or Gyard here is a little bit awkward, actually, but maybe it's okay. Um, pay two life. We definitely want to do Stav, anyway. Uh, we could play Dog. That's actually maybe better than doing Gyard right now. Just because, uh, like, leverage the this Satessan Champion token while we can. Draw more cards, get counters on Dog from Tribute. Bunch of stuff happens. Uh, get the Elvish Mystic down. We are getting close to Gyard Stormlines, which is kind of neat. Um... 
or like play out Gyre to Pirate's Pillage, use creatures to copy Gyre, uh, use this ability to copy the treasure tokens and etc. Uh, this does not have a productive attack, but maybe that's okay. Maybe that's okay. I think this makes attacking with the Goblin Shaman alright if we do this attack. Or it, it makes attacking with the Goblin Shaman more appealing to me, anyway. And getting some treasure for next turn seems cool and good. Yeah, they chump with Bill, which is fine. Hmm... Arbor Armament. Bill Extra Thick. This is okay. Uh, Kiki Trigger. OBS is kind of freaking out. Connecting to chat. Connecting to chat. It's fine. Don't know why it does that sometimes. Uh, opponent plays land, gets a food token. Which is interesting. Oh, Dragon! Okay. That, that, mm-hmm. Sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. Opponent vibing. Moisturized in their lane. Some might even say thriving. So, do we kiki copy again? Uh, I think the answer is yes. We will copy the Satessan Champion again because it's the most powerful draw engine we have. It also triggers tribute, which is neat. Uh, Juka Naturalist is a draw here. Um, Dragon Mantle's a good, easy proc. We would really like to do Lassoot by the Law on that Ancient Bronze Dragon. Because that's the thing that uh, can fly over our board, our board and kill us. Uh, we've not hit a Reliquary Tower. <laughs> and that's a thing. Um... I was considering, like, Gyred Stormlines or whatever, but Hallowed Haunting is good and spooky. Uh, and then... I'm gonna play out this, play out... We can 3 blind mice, we can do some other stuff. Uh, or do, like, Avacyn's... The Hallowed Haunting effect is enough to make our opponent... Oh, sorry, I... <laughs> I got too lost in the sauce. We probably have lethal there, yeah. Um, anyway, that was a game. Good games to our opponent. This person... I'm never playing a game against Grenzo and you can't make me. Uh, anyway, we keep this hand. We will shock in the stomping grounds. Play out the delighted halfling. Yeah, there is Explorer for, like, Eternal Format on Arena that is non-alchemy, but it the card pool is so shallow that it is, to some extent anyway, just standard, which is its own, like, own frustration or own issue. And then, yeah, it doesn't have a lot of the reasons that I would be excited to play in Eternal Format, like Storm cards or whatever. And, the, yeah, it, it's just frustrating to be like, I just want to play an Eternal Magic format with a deep card pool or whatever, and for Arena to not only not give a shit about that, but to, like, go, no, every single, every single Eternal format that goes back past Explore has to be an alchemy dumping ground, because we need to sell our shit cards to uh, people who just want to go, haha, heist. Uh, frustrations. Um. Down it. Yeah. Could we not talk about alchemy and stuff anymore? I know it's largely like good natured trolling or whatever, but it does just make me genuinely sad every time it comes up. Uh, I, I like not being sad. That's, you know, a cool way to be. 
Um, Elvish Archivist, I guess. Also, uh, uh, I mean, eating their commander is okay here, I think. Do this slamming with the 6-6. Six, six. Sorry, does Smithy lets you tap just creatures, right? I'm so used to playing it in artifacts. Yeah, you can tap creatures too. So we can flip the Smithy next turn, which is interesting. Do, 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 do. Five, five. Binding the old gods. That is a temporary solution to a problem. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just flip here, I think. Take a turn off to set up with, um, Windfall? Do we want to do that? I don't know, sure. Listen, we're vibing. Moisturized and early and thriving, etc., etc. Uh, get some counters on you. I guess play out Innkeeper because dropping Summoning Sickness with Gyard is kind of relevant. Or, like, we can get a new Karnstruct off of playing Gyard, and then we can copy the Karnstruct five times. And that seems nice. That seems relevant to my interests. Uh opponent searching for a forest and checking their mana. Just grabbing a snow-covered forest. Hitting the rope. Goshen tie of hidden cruelty. Yeah, worth it for them. I mean, like, vaguely annoying. Um... We do this. Be annoyed that we keep drawing lands. And do a guard thing. And we do a guard thing. And we do a guard thing. And we do a guard thing. Uh, surveil with the lush portico. Toss that overgrown farmland into the bin. I swear we've been drawing so many lands with this deck. Uh, crack the mine stone. Uh, sure. Hmm. You know what? I'll take it. We get to do a good parlor trick with Gyard in copying the uh, Smithy tokens a bunch of times, and our opponent is just like, Well, I don't have a sweeper. Bye bye. And you know, fair enough. Good games to the opponent. Thank you for watching the video, and an extra big thank you to the Patreon patrons and YouTube members that help make these videos possible. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye.